derivatization in gas chromatography in previous lecture we have studied the derivatization how we will perform the derivatization what is the purpose of derivatization what are derivatization reagent so in this lecture we will study about the method that are used for the derivatization that are silylation reaction acylation reaction alkylation reaction and chiral derivatization the first reaction is silylation reaction in this reaction the active hydrogen are displaced by the silyl group the general scheme is given over here so the sample containing the active hydrogen this active hydrogen should be replaced by this silyl group so here a silyl group will introduce and it will produce a transition state or activated complex then it will break down and it will produce derivative and acid so this silyl group that is trimethyl silane it will introduce into the sample or analyte and it will replace the h group this h group will combine with x group and it will produce acid the mechanism involved in replacement of active hydrogen that are from acid alcohol thiol amine and amides with silyl groups through nucleophilic attack sn2 mechanism is involved in this silylation reaction so the better better the leaving group better will be the silylation reaction the ease of reactivity of the functional group towards silylation is alcohol is more reactive as compared to phenol it is more reactive as compared to carboxyl then amine and in the last there is amide common use reagents are dimethyl silyl group tertiary butyl dimethyl silyl chloromethyl dimethyl silyl group advantages of this method is the resulting derivatives have increased thermal and chemical stability and increased volatility the reagents are easily available and easily prepared it improve the response is mass spectral analysis supporting additional characteristic fragments in the mass spectrum it has some disadvantages these reagents are moisture sensitive so while derivatizing with silylation reaction reaction medium should be moisture free and must be used a protic organic solvents second type is acylation reaction so as the name indicate a silyl group is introduced in place of active hydrogen this rco this is known as a silyl group in this process the compound with active hydrogen that is from alcohol thiol and amide these are reacted with carboxylic acid or derivatives of carboxylic acid to form ester thioester and amides respectively a generalized reaction is given over here that is the reaction of acid halide with alcohol so this bond will break and ro that has negative charge it will attack on the carbocation so it will break x will release that is the leaving group so it will break and it will form bond with h so acid will be produced and ro will attach over here it will produce an ester that is derivative so this is the derivatization reagent this is analyte and this is a derivative the acid produced in this case should be removed from the system if it is present in the system it will cause damage to the column in addition to acid halide acylation reagent include acid anhydrides and active acyl derivatives so these are divided into three groups perfluoroacetic anhydrides perfluoroacyl amidazoles and methyl bisfluoroacetamide among these perflu among these the most commonly used are perfluorinated anhydrides that will include trifluoroacetic anhydride pentafluoropropenoic anhydride and heptafluorobutyric anhydrides the reactions of these derivative reagents with the anhydride that is alcohol is given 
this is the heptafluoro pentafluoro and trifluoro anhydrides so the bond of alcohol will break and it will produce h plus and o r minus in the second case the bond will break over here so it will produce o minus and carbocation c plus will be produced so it is clear that this h plus will attach with o minus and it will produce respective acids in the second case this o r minus will attack on this carbocation and the respective ester will be produced the remaining two reactions are same the order of reactivity of these perfluorinated anhydrides are heptafluoro is less reactive than pentafluoro and pentafluoro is less reactive than trifluoro amines thiols and amides alkyl amines are used in the above reaction in place of oh if this oh is replaced with an h group then it will become amines sh is also used for thiol and alkyl amines are also used in place of oh group that has active hydrogen advantages include increase in volatility thermal stability sensitivity better selectivity and improved peak, peak shape addition of halogenated compounds such as fluorine it will increase the response by ecd electron capture detector we have already studied about the electron capture detector they have very good response for the compound that contain the more electronegative atom so the fluorine is more electronegative so when we incorporate this group into the derivative they will cause increased response by the ecd detector improve the thermal stability by protecting the unstable group it is easily detectable at low levels by electron capture detector derivatization to add the heavier halides that chloride and bromide would produce a greater sensitivity incorporating the halogen heavier halogen that are chloride and bromide it will produce ms fragments with characteristic isotope cluster pattern of these halide disadvantage include it these these compound are difficult to prepare the reaction product that is usually the acid it need to be removed before the analysis because it will cause damage to the gc column the reagents are moisture sensitive so it should be take care while using these uh, reagent the all the system or all the medium should be moisture free these are hazardous and having odors third type is alkylation as the name indicate the alkyl group is introduced in place of uh, active hydrogen alkyl or aryl both groups are introduced this replacement can be done in functionalities such as alcohol carboxyl thiol amine and amides alkylation reagents can be used to form esters thioesters ether thioether and alkyl amine and amides so in these reaction the analyte act as a nucleophile and they are participating in sn reaction so here a reaction is given that is the reaction of carboxylic acid with alcohol in acidic medium that will produce ester and water so this is the alkylation reaction commonly used alkylating reagents include dialkyl acetals diazoalkanes pentafluorobenzyl bromides benzyl bromides tetrabutyl ammonium hydroxide advantages include that the compound or the derivatives that is form is less polar more volatile and display improved chromatographic behavior than original compound it is more stable and it is easily available and easily prepared disadvantages are the severe reaction conditions are used 
we use either acidic or basic medium for reaction it is toxic and these are more limited to amines and acid hydroxyls fourth and the last type is chiral derivatization chiral derivatization involve the reaction of a enantiomeric molecule with an enantiomerically pure chiral derivatization agent to form two diastereomeric derivatives or the reaction in which one specific functional group is targeted and produce individual diastereomeric of each enantiomer so in this case we will use an enantiomeric molecule that when react with a chiral compound and it will produce a diastereomeric compounds so these diastereomics are known as the derivatives generally the, there are two ways for separating the enantiomers by chromatography first one is the separation on an optically active stationary phase so in this case we will use the stationary phase that has optically active compounds and that that will interact with the enantiomer that is also optically active so these enant molecules are easily separated on an optically active stationary phase if the stationary phase is not optically active or which which way we can say that it is not chiral then we will derivatize the sample so the second part is the preparation of diastereomeric derivatives that can be separated on a non chiral stationary phase the second option require derivatization of the enant molecule because in this case the stationary phase is non chiral so we will derivatize the enant molecule or the chemical compound the presence of a suitable functional group on a molecule is the condition for successful derivatization of a chiral molecule so one specific functional group is targeted and it is changed while the whole compound will remain the same example will include alpha substituted organic acid that are alpha chloropropanoic or alpha bromic caproic acids are derivatized with a specific enantiomer of amino acid ester so these are the acids and this is the amino acid ester that is ethyl 2 amino propanate so it will produce a diastereomeric mixture so here r and s will combine it will produce r and s here s and s will combine it will be s and s so these are two diastereomer the derivatized acids are now a diastereomers rs and ss that can be separated on a common capillary column that chiral derivatives include methyl chloroformate and triacetyl propyl chlorides and methoxy alpha trifluoromethyl phenyl acetic acid advantages are highly efficient at high speed no waste of solvent will takes place the illusion order can be adjusted if there are impurity in the enantiomeric form then it will be eluted first disadvantages are the enantiomeric purity should be high this is the major disadvantages if the enantiomer purity is less then it will not form diastereomeric mixture the reagent should be enantiomerically stable there should be no racemic mixture or racemization will takes place 